What's up, guys? So, um, hopefully now my laptop will decide to record my voice, but this is going to be episode two. Um, we did a lot after episode one, and the recordings got a little messed up, and I can't really use it to make a very uh, effective video, so we're kind of just going to skip over that. I'm going to go over what I've done and show you guys everything and um, basically move on to the next part of the end quote plan I got going on here because this um, I haven't quite said this yet but the plan here is to try and make pretty much a um, survival medieval world that when it's done it's gonna look like a professional creative world just you know completely 100% built in survival where I can get achievements, there's no cheats, it's just straight survival. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead since I'm over here on the main island anyway, and I'm gonna explain what the plan is here with our port city. So, um, as you can see in my right map here, the, um, the little fort island down there, I kind of, I pretty much finished it. I have one more tower to do on the fort, um, and then I just need to decorate it a little bit. I, I have a bunch of oak trees planted all over the place for the time being so that I could get wood, um, but I've done a little bit of working on the uh, terrain around the island just to make it look better. I just got to pretty much make the ground around the fort not look so bare but let's see here the there we go the section in the right map that where it has the green circle in the middle of the uh the snow that's just on the other side of that lip that part is sunken in that's where the castle is going to go um What's great about that spot is the mountain kind of encloses that entire circle all the way around. So that, that middle section is sunk in, kind of like a volcano. But since um, I went ahead and mapped out the entire island, and it is an island, so what's great about that is that the castle is protected from all sides from enemy forces on the water so if anybody were to shoot cannon up at it well the mountain's going to protect it so realistically that makes a really good um natural defense so what we're going to do from there is the section i'm standing on now is the far north end of the island and we're going to be putting docks all along this section here that way there's kind of a north port here for boats to, sh uh, to ship in and, you know, bring in goods or export goods or such, uh, such and so forth. And then this main section here is kind of the biggest flat area we got. So this is going to be our, like, main city center. And then there's just that small island there. Uh, there's going to be, like, a little lighthouse on it there so that it can kind of realistically guide ships in from this side. And then also from that side, since it's right in the middle. Um, if we go ahead and head west from the north end here, there's a good spot over here that once all these trees are out of the way, would make a really good um, housing district. And that's kind of the plan. So once we get rid of all these excuse me, all these trees, this whole section here will pretty much be our housing district leading up to our main, um, our main, like, city center where the, uh, the port will be, and then if we go ahead and hop around towards the east side here, we're gonna have to do a lot of excavating of the ground to, to clear up enough sections to build, which we're going to do all off camera so you guys don't have to sit there and watch for hours as we dig. Because <laughs> I'm sure um, it's just the last thing you guys want to sit here and watch. But if 
we come up here, um, this little flat section here, we're going to be building a bridge across to that flat section over there, and we're going to cut out some more of this ground there. That way, we have a nice clear path over this riverbed, which is a little low. So we might, uh, I might, I might fix that later and make the, the river a little, a little higher so it kind of empties out into the ocean and looks a lot better. But if we go ahead and figure out the best course to hop up here. There we go. So up here, this is pretty much where the other side of the bridge will be from there. And we'll have to cut all this out so that you know, there's room for walkways and maybe a couple buildings. But, um, if we keep trundling this way, you can already see we've started excavating some of the ground here. We sectioned off pieces. Uh, a lot of that section over there has been excavated. So, um, we're probably going to make this another, like city center section um, once we kind of flatten all this out and then we're going to take this spot over here that's a little narrow between the water and where the, the base of the mountain comes down to where you can't really build too much um, we're going to put a set of east docks on this side so there's kind of two sections for boats to, to ship in and out of um, to bring and take goods away and such but this will be our east port and then our north port over there and that the north section will be the main city of the whole thing and then over here we'll have some like smaller um some smaller, smaller stuff um something a little more simple over here since there's a little less space to build uh once we clear all this out it'll open up a lot of space so that we can kind of fit more um, we're probably going to have to make this section a little more geared towards, like, lower income, uh, sections where people basically who own shops over here will have their house built into the shop, into the same building, so they basically, like, they, uh, they live in an apartment above their, their shop it will be kind of the, uh, the style. Meanwhile, over there, any shops and stuff that, um owners will have their own separate houses in the district behind it which would be a little more in quote um, higher income that way when we you know get villagers in here and start making this a real a more real uh, working society and an actual functioning and quote village that uh, over there villagers should be close enough to their houses to walk from their house to their job where they have their shop and such without having to be you know without them not noticing hey there's no beds in the area and it's still going to be close enough uh over here however it's going to be a little too far so that's why i'm thinking about doing that because i don't know if i could fit another housing district in this section at all i might be able to put in a, a couple of small houses uh somewhere closer to the base of the mountain but i'm not going to be able to fit nearly as much um however this side is where we're going to have our path leading up to the castle i'm thinking about having it literally come up across where we're jumping right now and we're just gonna have to clean this up and make it more of a path so that there's stairs you can just walk up and once we get the castle started we'll have um all of this already ready to, to go so we don't have to keep you know climbing up and around this section just to get more materials and then from here this will be where our castle goes and as you can see like I said the entire section is completely separated by the mountains that come around so it will be protected from all sides by the mountain and I think this little spot with the overhang here would be a great way to have our uh, what's it called our path leading up to it so because the castle is very likely going to be facing east anyway. And now if we go ahead and hop around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I think I have a boat. Yeah, there it is. Alright, where did I see it? There it is. 
now that you kind of understand um, what our plan is for the port city with where our um, what's it called our castle is gonna go we're gonna go ahead and hop back to our little fort um, our fort island that we started down here on the uh, the southeast side that way I can show you what I've done since the first episode since some stuff kind of got left out from just messes, um, parts of the videos that I recorded having screw-ups, because some things didn't record my voice, or I just ended up doing things and forgot, hey, I should be recording this. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead. And as you can see, first from the start, I, um... The entire edges of the island, I, I basically did like a mini cliff thing just to kind of make it a little more elegant. And then this is our fort. So we have our two towers, our main gate. We have our house, the main taller tower, and then like a little storage room. And then this is the tower we haven't finished yet, which I'm probably going to make another lighthouse. Someone's been leaving doors open. So we go to our main floor. We have our map on the wall. And you can see this is our whole island. We'll have our castle here in a circle, like I was saying. We'll have our east port, our north port, and then our like main city center basically in here with our uh, lighthouse in the center there. That way it works for both north and east. And uh, what I plan on doing with this part here is making all the farmland. That way it's a little separated, and then here's where our uh, more high-income housing section will be. So, that's pretty much the starting plan. We'll see how things end up carrying on as we continue building and uh, excavating, you know, sections. So we have plenty of, uh, we have plenty of stuff to do, but um, for right now, that's what we got. We're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna hop this way. We got Tira over here collecting as much oak as possible so that once we start getting the ground out of the way, we can uh, much more easily build stuff because we'll have the material for it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what we got. Um, I know I kinda didn't really do much of anything except to explain some stuff in this video. Uh, if I find, I'm gonna try and put in some of the recordings I still have left over that I did manage to get that still had voice in it, if any. Um, uh, that way you can kinda see what I managed to do in building this a little bit, cause... I know for the most part, the first video didn't, uh, I didn't get a lot of this done yet. Um, I want to probably put that somewhere in the middle of the video and kind of make this one whole thing. Um, either way, I'm pretty much going to wrap it up here and we're going to see you up in the next episode, episode three, and we're going to have plenty of excavated ground over there that way we can just start building in the next episode and start uh getting ships ready to to dock in and such um anyway that's kind of our plan and i hope you guys enjoyed what i'm starting here i've been wanting to do this for so long but every time i've tried i uh didn't have a good enough mountain. I'd build a castle and the mountain next to it would be like half the height of like the smallest tower. So it just made the whole world look too small for the castle that I built on it. So I, um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. This is pretty much just going to be me finally building that the perfect medieval world in survival. And I just want to record it for you guys so you can see my, um, pretty much 
where I'm going with it, my progress, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.